I'm doing a video I wasn't planning on doing, but something came in the mail today and I really want to try it out. This is a new sponge from Juno & Co. You guys know I talk about them a lot. They have the microfiber sponge that doesn't absorb makeup and it kind of gives you more full coverage. Now they have a new sponge called the Juno Cloud. They gave me a little card. This was gifted to me from the brand, but all opinions are my own. You guys know this. So this is a latex free uh, sponge that's supposed to be super soft, stain resistant. Stain resistant. That's very interesting. Now I feel like I have to wash it on camera. It's supposed to provide lightweight, even application with effortless transfer and zero caking. So I have a lot of sponges from Juno actually. Their microfiber sponges aren't my favorite just because I'm not someone who likes full coverage. If you like full coverage but you also like a sponge, that's ideal for you. But I actually have a couple of these sponges from Juno. These two, they're dirty, so ignore that. I don't know if they still sell these exact ones, but I love these. I find them to be an amazing $1 dupe for the Beauty Blender. I've done a whole video on these, which I will link below. This is their newest sponge. I'm not sure how much it costs at the moment. It's really cool. It's like, it's shaped. Is it? Not really. It's like more oval, and it has this um, flat side here, a bigger one, and then it has a really tiny flat side on this side. For today, we're going to apply the Cosmetic CC Cream with this sponge. I want you guys to see kind of how much coverage this is going to give, but you can see I have quite a few little, just like red marks and darkness under my eyes, and then just quite a few um, scars, so can't wait. This is super soft, by the way. I like playing with it. It's definitely very soft. Like, it's called the cloud, right? Do you know cloud? It's cloudy. So first, I'm going to spray my face. Just because I have dry skin, and if I don't prep my skin with a bit of spray, then um, everything is dry. <laughs> and I just use this to wet my sponges too. Obviously, you could run it underwater, but this is the way I do it. So it got a little bit bigger. It looks a little like. <laughs> do you see this? There's like lumps on it. Is that just because I sprayed it and didn't get it wet under the sink? We're gonna check to see if it is no caking, natural finish, lightweight, effortless blending. So we're gonna go into the flat side. weird so I use that and you can see that there's some um, discoloration on here it still looks almost clean that is weird now let's look at my face overall I have definitely a smoother more um, even cup even like finish on my skin you can see my scars but I don't really mind that I like a very very natural look so that's why I was very excited about this sponge let me look up close to my mirror I mean I wouldn't say it's airbrushed but it's so natural I mean there is not one ounce of cakiness I have to zoom in and really show you guys up close and personal so if you don't like pores <laughs> look away I mean I know my skin isn't perfect but look at that I mean, that looks really, really nice. That just looks like my skin doesn't even look like I'm wearing any makeup. This is going to be the step that's really going to tell me how good this is, if it really isn't cakey, because um, my under eyes are so dry that even the best, most hydrating concealer looks cakey. So we're going to take this slot into the smaller flat side and go into the Glossier Stretch Concealer, which is my go-to concealer, the most moisturizing one I've ever had. So we're going to just dig the sponge right on in there. I might have to order a couple more of these sponges. <laughs> really confused why is like I don't know what about the sponge is making it not cakey like my under eyes were so dry but you can't see that I'm gonna zoom in under my under eyes and you tell me if you see any dryness why is this so soft oh my god look how glowy and like natural my skin just looks like normal and I'm not trying to be like over the top or dramatic you guys know me if I don't like something I have no problem saying it I will wash it and come back and tell you if it like washed really nicely because I have to wash it all my sponges. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Juno? What are you doing? I mean, I recommend it. Totally, definitely try this out. Oh my god, I think I have a gray hair in my eyebrow. <sighs> Those late 20s will get you. We're gonna take Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam, this like more peachy color. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Now I'm gonna take the rounded side, dip in. I like this, oh my god, guys. This is my new favorite sponge. Okay, and now we're gonna do some highlighter with the Glossier House Scope Halo Scope. I'm shocked. Look at my skin. Like, it just looks so natural. What the heck? I'm gonna try to get some shots in natural light. <laughs>
never had a sponge rinse out so quickly of soap. I mean, there's nothing, this looks like a brand new sponge. And it's also humongous, bigger than it was when I dampened it for my makeup. Um, and it's not lumpy at all anymore. You can see that it's like coming right straight up to a point. So obviously the lumpiness was just due to the fact that I sprayed it wet instead of getting it um, wet in the tap. This is softer than the Beauty Blender by far, like the original Beauty Blender. These feel like there's like something in the middle of them. Like it kind of feels like there's like a, a resistance. This one, I have no problem. This feels like a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Honestly, Andrea & Co should come out with a pillow made of this. Oh my God. Give me some of that commission. I just came up with an idea for you. <laughs> I'm shocked, I'm blown away. Juno & Co, you hit it out of the park again. I'm obsessed, I'm gonna keep using this. I'm obsessed with it. If you wanna check it out, there will be a link down below so that you can try it. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe to see more from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to check out this fund because what the hey?